other memories of Stanbury campus. How do you explain a student who set up a pinball arcade and persuaded the school to allow him to do it and he made considerable amounts of money from it, uh, who later became uh, the head of the acid house rave scene where all those illegal raves happened in the late 80s and early 90s and that was Tony Colston Hayter. He came from Stanbury campus. I have two stories about Stanbury campus that, that summed up my experience there. Uh, Terry Sides was my tutor and he looked, looked more like a mercenary in Africa uh, than a teacher. He used to wear this battered leather jacket um, but he was a great teacher and I remember one day he asked me to run a note to the front office and a friend of mine, Martin Tootle, started razzing me and said, oh look at the teacher's pair, look at him and quick as a flash Terry Sides turned around and said, what's well, better being, better being a wanker like you and everybody thought about laughing, it was hilarious. The other memories, the 22nd of December 1982, uh, it was the sixth form party, it was at the Great Linford Memorial Hall. It was a great party and uh, I remember Paul uh, Salmon opened the, the door to the boys' toilets and there he is with some gorgeous woman in a red dress and his hands sh sh snaking up his dress, I quickly shut the door on that. But for some reason, uh, maybe because the poster said Disco Dancing Desmond on it, uh, somebody didn't like me and they jumped me and uh, uh, basically punched me up. And then ran away, a gang of them did. Well, uh, two of my friends, uh, Paul Taylor and little Dave Stevenson, ran after them. They ran through two estates to get these people and uh, returned the favor. So that was Stanbury Campus to me. Good memories.